there. You just wait and see. We're talking podcasts, which you know Steve does on the side, and the podcast industry is booming. So should you have one for your business? <laughs> Steve's hoping yes. Small business <laughs> owner and columnist Gene Marks joins me now to weigh in and tell us why everyone is buzzing about podcasts. Gene, good morning. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Sure. So tell us the scoop. Why are podcasts so hot right now? Well, first of all, I have to say, like, I mean, Steve is in the exact business to be in. It wow. is like the oh. podcast industry. He just is, left. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, well, the podcast industry is like really hitting its own. There was a recent yeah. report that just came out. I wrote about this in the Philadelphia Inquirer. Right. How um, the podcast industry right now, over um, half of Americans over the age of 12 have listened to a podcast in the past year. And the, the industry itself is expected to hit a billion dollars in revenue by 2021. Do you listen wow. to any podcasts? Are you um, I tr I'm not into them that much. But I, when Steve tells me it's a good one, I listen. Yeah. And I see, I see the benefits for sure. Oh, well, there's so easy to listen to. You can yeah. you, you pick them up on your phone. Mm -hmm. You can Bluetooth it into your car. Just put right. it in your way. So I walk around the city a lot. I listen to podcasts. I'm driving around. I listen to all sorts. Just amazing stuff. Great interviews that are out there. Great, yeah. great content. And what topics are most popular right now? What do you so find it? Politics are big, mm -hmm. right? Current events. Uh, comedy is really big. You know, Mark Maron has a really fun yeah. podcast. Joe Rogan has got a great one. Conan O'Brien has got a great one. Really? Those are really popular and people are listening to it. But businesses are really starting to catch up. Like 13 percent of the podcast content last year was devoted towards some type of a business content. So um, as you know, I mean, I write a lot about small business mm -hmm. and I run a small business and I've been getting into it and I'm yeah. learning that, hey, you know what? Uh, this is like, a, like a, a real opportunity for a lot of small businesses. Yeah, I was going to say the million dollar question, which small businesses should really consider this in your opinion? It's a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, it is, first of all, regardless of the business that you're in, um, everybody has an opportunity to establish themselves as a thought leader and to mm -hmm. give content. Right. So it's any business that you be. I mean, you could be a, a distributor of industrial pipes mm -hmm. or a manufacturer of corrugated containers, but if you put together a podcast, no, you're not going to draw in the numbers that like an Alec Baldwin draws in. But even if a few hundred people are listening to your podcast every week or every month, those are potential people that are your customers. And these are people that are, are buying into your branding of your business as well. Every business is open to podcasting. Yeah. Now, what do you think it takes to make one successful? So um, it's got to be interesting. Mm -hmm. They got to be somewhat short and sweet. You mm -hmm. can't be droning on. And having experts and insight that can educate your audience is what. Be Think about the stuff that you like to listen to on the radio. Right. Um, it is very, very tough to carry a broadcast on yourself. I mean, look at you. Look, as, as great as you are, you've got Hasiel here as your partner, right? Thank so God. the two of you guys can talk <laughs> back and forth. You have a little dialogue. Yeah. People like to hear conversations rather than just one person sort of droning on. Right. So if you want to make your podcast interesting, Interesting. Either get a partner, okay? Maybe you're available or Hasiel. Call us. Call the station. <laughs> um, or, you know, or I have guests on. So you right. can have dialogues and you pick topics that are of interest to your listeners, your industry, your business. Um, that is the kind of stuff that draws people back every week. And like you mentioned, you're not going to have a media, you know, millions and no. millions of followers overnight. Yeah. What do you think the biggest challenges are for someone just starting to dabble? Well, in there, this? there's costs, mm -hmm. right? So, first of all, getting a podcast started up is probably a thousand, couple thousand dollars and just getting yourself established, you absolutely have to work with a good firm that does, like Steve's firm, mm -hmm. that does like podcasting production because mm -hmm. you got to make it professional. Right. I mean, this is not Wayne's World, you know? You have your microphone cracked, No, right? so people have this expectation, so you got to pay mm -hmm. for it to be at a certain level. Um, it's got to be produced, it's got to be edited, there's got to be a little music, a little jazz. Yeah. You know, that's the way we are in 2019. Yeah, jazzy and punchy. And Steve and I talk about this a lot, you know, if you think, and you mentioned this in your article, yep. if you you think of it as a marketing tool. Yep. It didn't work. Because yeah. that's not it. First of all, you know, listen, you're not. I talked about a billion dollars in revenue for the podcasting industry. That's from advertisements. For most businesses, you're not going to be paying. You ain't going to be sending your kid to college mm. from your podcasting revenue. Right. Okay. That's not the game. What you want to think about with a podcast is to pick a topic that you're passionate in. You should enjoy doing this. It's not a marketing exercise. Right. And you should be building a community. It should be something fun for you to do and something that you're passionate about and something you're good at talking about. Mm. You'll see that your community will build off of that and you will get work because of it but you shouldn't be going into it with just this is a way for me to get leads that's not the attitude that you should be having okay so we just need to know quickly can mm -hmm. we find the gene marks podcast somewhere <laughs> yeah as a matter board? as a matter of fact if you search me i do a weekly podcast called small biz ahead okay. i do it with the hartford insurance Great. company okay so they're the ones footing the bill thanks hartford <laughs> yeah but but it, it's been very very popular we got a few yeah. thousand viewers you know listeners every week and we talk about small business topics like 
this. Well, you're so good at what you do. I'm sure it's entertaining. I'm going to check fun. it out on my drive home today. So Very thank good. you. GeneMarks.com for all of uh, Gene's great articles that he's working on and more on what he spoke about today. Thanks, Gene. Thanks a lot. I think Steve uh, will appreciate what you said. Steve, this I'm waiting for those commission uh, checks, yeah. Steve, wherever he is. <laughs> Come on up. Pay up, Steve. All right, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.